This is a short video on downloading discharge data from USGS to make a hydrograph. The first thing that you're going to want to do is navigate to the www.usgs.gov and then you can click on water. There are a number of different ways to get to this site, um, to get to the USGS gauge sites. If I get to this page and um, I can click on map, map of all sites and that will bring up a map of the country. When I click on water sometimes it gives me a drop down list to select states and if I select Montana then it gives me this map and then if I zoom in to where Bozeman is around there then I have, which I had done previously, I get to this place where Bozeman is here and I have a uh, site that I'm interested in, the Gallatin River at Gateway here. If I click on that and click on Access Data, then it brings me to this page and I can then click on um, Daily Data because um, I'm interested in a hydrograph of the, the average flow from each day. And then I scroll down here and it gives me a default graph. I'm interested in a hydrograph of the 2014 water year which starts actually on in 2013. So I'm going to select 2013 and October 1st for the beginning. And then the 2014 water year ends in 2014 on September 30th. And I'm going to stick with the graph for now just so I can preview it and hit go. and the website is going to bring me back this hydrograph for 20, the 2014 water year, which again starts on October 1st of 2013. And you can start to see why the water year starts now because it's at when the, at least in snowmelt snow dominated hydrographs, this is where the water flow is lower so that in a single water year you see a peak and then a decrease back down to base flow. And so now that I've previewed my data here and I see that this is in fact the, the data that I'm looking for, I'm going to switch to tab separated and then hit go. And that now brings up the data that I want in a tab separated file. There's a couple of ways to get this into Excel. Um, you can just select all of this, so control A and then control C. Uh, to get all of the data and then just copy it to your clipboard and paste it into Excel. A little bit smoother is to save that page as a text document. And so save your files as something sensible. I'm going to save this as Gallatin. And actually I'm going to navigate to a file that I, a folder that I have made for this, USGS Hydrograph. And I had already named it, so this is what I'm going to select for a file name, Gallatin 2014 USGS, and then at the end of the file name is 2015-09-0109, which is the date that I'm downloading it. So this is a very clear file name, and then I'm going to save that um, so that I can plot it. Now I'm going to open a new worksheet in Excel, or open Excel and open that file that I just saved. So I'm navigating back to my folder that I had created. I'm going to change this to say open all files and I'm going to open that file, that text file that I just saved. I have it open in another version so I had to click that I would open it as read only and it's okay that I'm going to open it in a different file name in a different, with a different file extension. This part is important that I'm telling it it's not a fixed width, it's a delimited file. And then I'm going to click Next and I'm going to tell it, um, sometimes it comes up as a default of space, but this is a tab delimited file, so I'm going to select Tab. Then I can scroll down here and see that it has in fact separated those, the data into the right columns. I'm going to click Next and Finish and it's going to open that data file for me and it keeps all of this up here in single cells but and my my metadata up here easy to read in a single cell but all of my data down here is in its own columns 
and I'm going to space this date time out so that I can actually read it and make sure it makes sense. The last step here that I always like to do is rename this tab as raw data and then I'm never going to change that data. I'm going to create a new one, a new tab, and call it clean data. Come back over here, top left select, control C to copy it, come into clean data and paste it, and then I can delete all of this metadata from the top and then I can start to clean this up even more. I'm going to delete this second row and now I'm ready to start making graphs with this data and I've got my column headings right at the top of my Excel file so that I can do things like freeze the top row and scroll down and only see and always see my column headings. Now if you like, you can just put plots in here, but I think it's even cleaner if you actually create a new worksheet and call that one plots or graphs and then come up here and insert your plots here to start making your hydrographs from that data so that you have your raw data that never gets touched. It's exactly as it is when you downloaded it. Your clean data where you delete all the metadata at the top do any other processing that you might need to, and then your plots tab where you come in and actually have the graphs. And that was a quick overview of how to download USGS data to make a hydrograph.